So I'll have to catch all the shrimp, which will probably take a little while. There's the entire carpet ripped out. So my idea for this project is to actually set up two tanks. What's up everybody? Welcome to another video. Hope you're doing well. Super excited today because today I'm going to start launching a new series of episodes to this channel. The idea for this series is, is something that I had in my mind for quite a long time already, but now it's, it's finally the time to, to get started with this project. All right, so let me introduce you to the Twinscape project. So basically what I have in mind is to start a new series of videos where we're just going to do some fun and interesting experiments. And in these, in these videos, I want to involve you guys, the, the viewers more as well. So you guys can, can decide uh, which direction we're going to take this, this series and what kind of experiments we're going to do. So I think we all know that the, the planted aquarium hobby is very diverse and everybody has a different approach on how they do things, different approach on how they grow plants, different approach on how they prevent algae. Uh, how to do maintenance, which substrate is best. So my idea for this project is to actually set up two tanks uh, exactly the same. So everything will be the same. The dimension of the tank will be the same and the equipment of the tank will be the same. And everything that will be inside the gram should be basically the same as well. Uh, but depending on what kind of experiment we're going to do, in one tank something will be different. So just so we can compare it and just so we can yeah, see what kind of results that that gives us. So for example, we can do an experiment with different kinds of substrates. So we can set up one tank uh, with a very nutrient rich substrate like an aqua soil and in the other tank we can just use inert gravel and then see how how big the comparisons or how big the differences are in those two tanks in terms of plant growth, in terms of algae growth, how stable the aquariums are, something like that, you know. Or we can set up both tanks in the exact same way but in one tank we're going to do weekly water changes and in the other tank we're going to do no water changes at all and just do top-ups. And something, another idea that I had is to just let both tanks get completely covered with algae and then just fix them in two different ways. So one will be just a very chemical treatment of algae and another tank will be a very natural way of treating algae and then see which method works best, something like that. So I have a lot more ideas, but like I said, I want to involve you guys more as well. So I want, also want to hear your ideas. And basically just imagine that these two tanks are, are yours and you can do some experimenting with it. So let me know in the comments what kind of experiments would you do and let, let's just see what we can come up with. So yeah, we're going to need two tanks. So over here on the bottom, I already have one empty tank, which is 20 liters or 5 gallons. And on the other side, I have the Iwagumi, which is the exact same size, but that one is still up and running. So we need to empty that one first. So yeah, it's time to say goodbye to the Iwagumi. It was a, it was a nice little tank, super simple, kind of turned it more into a breeding tank for the cherry shrimp. But it was a, it was a fun tank. I never trimmed the carpet. It still looks decent. I mean, there's some algae on the rocks, but apart from that, it's just a very simple planter tank. So I'll have to catch all the shrimp, which will probably take a little while. And I think I'll just move them to this cube right here. I think they'll, uh, they'll look lovely in there as well. There's already a few cherry shrimp in there. So let's start catching the shrimp. Then we'll remove the, the plants. Let's see if we can reuse the plants for this project or for some different project. I hate throwing away good plants. And then we'll clean this tank up and then I'll explain a bit more about the technique that we'll use for the Twinscape project. So after about 15 minutes of shrimp catching, I think we got most of them. But I think that there's still a lot of shrimp hiding actually inside the carpet. So I'm gonna fill it back up, see if there's more shrimp to catch. There's the entire carpet ripped out. So I'll just go through this 
plant mass and all the moss and just see if I can find any more shrimp in there. See if we can rescue them. But yeah, that's the uh, Iwagumi empty. Still loads of shrimp. So I'm gonna drain most of the water now, catch the rest of them, and then we can empty the tank completely. By the way, people often ask me what I do with my old substrate. So this stuff here is still good. It's still full of nutrients, still full of beneficial bacteria. So ideal situation, you would rescape this tank and I would suggest to use this as a base layer and just cap it with a fresh layer of gravel or aqua soil again. And then you can keep those beneficial bacteria alive, fill the tank up with water again. And then you would have an amazing start for a new fresh aquascape um, in this case i'll just remove it and i keep it outside in a bucket and maybe later i'll use it again as a base layer but if you can use it straight away keep those beneficial bacteria alive then you're really off to a great start All right, so we got a bit sidetracked with the shrimp catching, but we finally have our two twin tanks ready. I think this is a nice setup, right? So let's talk a little bit about the equipment. So both of these tanks are five gallons or 20 liter each. And they're measuring 36 centimeters from left to right. They are 26 centimeters high and it's 22 centimeters front to back. I'll put all the measurements up on the screen. Uh, so you have 5 gallons or 20 liters more or less. They, they look a bit different because uh, this is the old one basically. This one I bought a long time ago. And it's a bit of a budget tank. It's still OptiWide glass but it's not as clear as this one. This one is new. I bought this recently and you can see that there's a bit of a different tone between the glass. This is much more blue than this one. Also this one is made from a little bit thicker glass compared to this one. I think it's like one millimeter thicker or something. But it doesn't really matter. It still looks great. So those are the tanks. Then the lights. These two lights are the Chihiro's WRGB Slim. So this light is very similar to what I have on the 70 liter Scapers tank. But yeah, it's slim. So the, this light is a bit thinner and has less LEDs comparing to the regular WRGB 2. Uh, they also changed the, uh, the brackets. And these are extendable brackets from metal, which I think look quite nice. So this is the 30 centimeter version. I think you can extend it all the way up to 40 centimeters or 45 centimeters. So our regular viewers from the channel know how much I like Chihiro's lights. I think I have three tanks with Chihiro's lights right now. They're just very affordable, very nicely customizable with the app. So you can add a sunrise, you can add a sunset, you can change the colors. Yeah, I think just uh, also very nice beginner's lights. Let's talk about the filtration for this Twinscape project. Uh, the, these two filters are both Daniel's Scapers flows. Um, it's basically like a combination of a hang on the back filter and a small external filter. And I really, really like these filters because with a normal hang on the back filter, you always get this like this waterfall effect, you know, like water is just falling into the tank. And that's, I mean, that's okay, but it doesn't always give you the best flow distribution. And with these scapers flow, you just have a normal inflow and a normal outflow. And they both are in acrylic, so they look stylish as well. And what this, yeah, this just gives you a better, um, this gives you more flexibility in terms of where you want the flow to to go, you know? So I really like these small filters. I think they're perfect for this size aquarium as well. I think the output is about 360 liters per hour. So they're also quite, quite powerful. And lastly, we of course need some CO2. So for that, I will use two of these very simple systems. And these are also from Denela. And this is actually a very good beginner CO2 system as well. So this is just a 500 grams disposable bottle. 
So once it's empty, you can just replace it. And on top, you just have a very, very simple regulator. It's nothing fancy. There are no, no gauges. There are no meters. It's just a, yeah, it's just a valve basically. And you can open it. You can attach a solenoid, but that's it. And I've been using one of these for, I think over a year already. And I, yeah, I just like how simple it is, but it, it just works fine. And on a small tank, these 500 grams disposable bottles will last you six months easily. So I have two of these and each one of each of the tanks will get one of these systems. And then, yeah, I think we have everything. All right, so I think that's the setup for the Twinscape project complete. We have our light, we have our tanks, we have our filter. Of course, we still need some substrate, some hardscape and some plants, but all that will, will come later. Uh, first, we need to decide which experiment we're actually gonna do first. So that's completely up to you guys. So I think, I think the best way to do it is just like this. You guys can comment down below which experiment you would like to do, which experiment you would like to see. And then I'll just go through the comments, see which ones are, are mentioned the most. And from that, I'll just create a poll. So everybody can vote on that poll and then we, from then we can decide where to start. All right, so that's just a little introduction into this new Twinscape project. Hope you guys are excited about it. Don't forget to comment down below which kind of experiment you would like to see. Be creative, be crazy. Let's, let's have some fun here. I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care.